What's up, my horse lovers? It's the Horse Reactor here, and I am back for another reaction. And this time, we're taking a look at something from Parks Racing. By the way, that's spelled P-A-R-X. Well, the name of the track is spelled like that. So, anyways, there was two races that went off last Saturday. And one was the Cotillion and one was the Pennsylvania Derby. I'm going to be taking a look at the ones that happened this year, not in years past. So, anyways, the Cotillion is first, and then the Pennsylvania Derby. So, this one is, well, they're both a um, million dollar races. And one is for the Phillies, which is the Cotillion, which we're going to be watching in this video. And the next one is the Pennsylvania Derby, which is for boys. So, anyways, this video is about 5 minutes and 20 seconds long. So, let's get to it in 3, 2, 1, play. There we go. Okay. I don't know why it's saying one at the top. Oh, here are here were the horses. Power squeeze, scalable, tarifa. I'll finish reading the rest and editing. Off and racing in the cotillion. It was a flawless beginning with this field of eight on the outside. Mystic Lake goes right to the lead. Thorpedo Anna settles into second. They go by the finish line for the first time. Then it's Mystic Lake followed by Tarifa. Sidamara in between horses. The gray scalable in on the rail. Power squeeze in the early trailer. The gray Everland. Did she? Mystic okay, Lake. did Jessica Packett have, have to say the gray? Torpedo Anna, just a neck behind in second. In third, Gunsong about a length and a half off. Then it's Tarifa, fourth. Followed by Sidamar in fifth, Power Squeeze sixth to the outside, Scalable, and then Everland is at the back. They go through an opening quarter. 23, 23 and 4 for the opening quarter. And their run down the back stretch, and Mystic Lake continues to lead. Gunsong now in second, Torpedo Anna. She's about two lengths back. She's in third. She's lost some ground. Followed by Torpedo Torpedo Anna's box then. Scalable to her inside. Sidamara followed by Power Squeeze and still at the back, Everland and Mystic Lake takes them through half, 48 flat. They are not cooking on the front end. Mystic Lake, well, Mystic Lake. Well, <laughs> Gunsong a length off in second. Then it's Tarifa flanked by Thorpedo, Anna followed by Scalable in fifth. Sidamara, Power Squeeze and still at the back. Everland is now out of last. Mystic Lake, Power Squeeze is now last. Just off of her outside, Gunsong, she's beginning to move. Under a drive, Thorpedo Anna. Thorpedo Anna, Anna looks like she's boxed in. They go around the far turn in the cotillion. A quarter mile left to go. Mystic Lake has led all the way, but now she has some company coming. Gunsong Gun was in my other reaction. And Gunsong sticks her nose in front. Thorpedo Anna swings to the outside, and the grizzly now begins to roar. Gunsong has the lead. Thorpedo Anna on the outside. Tarifa, Gunsong game, but here comes Thorpedo Anna. A 16th left to go. Thorpedo Anna, the grizzly has the heart of a lion. Thorpedo Anna gets the win. A narrow victory over a very game gun song in the cotillion. All right. Final time, 145 and 2. Hold all tickets until race 12 is official. Why do I have to hold all tickets? Why do you have to hold all tickets until the race is official? And maybe this should be the thumbnail, minus the uh, mouse that's on the bottom of the screen. Those flowers that the winner gets look like they're the, they're almost a flower. They almost look like the flowers from the Preakness. So it's Thorpedo Anna, Gunsong, Tarifa, Mystic Lake. One to nine over forty to one over thirteen to one over seven to one. And your winner of the cotillion, the best three-year-old filly in the land. Not well, I wouldn't say in the land. Torpedo Anna, three-year-old daughter of Fast Anna out of the Uncle Mo Mare. Satavs, 
Bred by Judy Hicks, owned by Brookdale Racing Incorporated, Mark Edwards, Judy Hicks, and Magdalena Racing. Trained by Ken McPeak, ridden victory by Brian Hernandez Jr. Okay. So Torpedo Anno wins it as a nine to one shot, post time favorite, by the way. And like I said, Gunsong was in another one of my reactions. She was in the one that was before the Preakness. And yes, that I think that was the Black Eyed Susan. Are they going to do the trophy presentation too? Where are you going? Winter Circle's Nine Eyes Packed. And now presenting to the winning connections of the Cotillion, Eric Hausler and Jeff Maddy. Congratulations to all of the winning connections of the Cotillion Stakes. Somebody's wearing a horse mask in the Philly shirt. <laughs> Somebody else is also wearing a horse. There's four ho people with horse masks on there. In the background. How do they even see out of those? There's no holes for your eyes. Okay. So that was the $1 million grade one 2024 Cotillion Stakes. I forgot to mention the name of the title, so now I just read it. That was funny that um, people were actually wearing horse masks for horse racing over there at parks last Saturday. Um, I think Torpedo Anna is now going to be heading towards the Breeders' Cup. I'm not sure. And also, um, that was a close race with Gunsong next to her, like, throughout the whole stretch. Or should I say, almost throughout the whole stretch. And Gunsong was in one of my reactions, like I keep saying. And hopefully you guys uh, check that out before checking this one out. To see Dunsong's previous performance. I mean, previous performance before this one. So, anyways, that's going to be it for this reaction. So, please leave a like down below. Most importantly, copy the name of the video I reacted to and search it up in the search bar. So, you guys can see the video for yourself without having me talk over it. And click over, click over here to subscribe. I almost used the wrong hand. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.